right, let's move this thing on. Let's get it. Um, Cat Williams mm. sat down on Club Shay Shay, mm-hmm. Shannon Sharp show, mm-hmm. and went scorched earth. Cat mm-hmm. had opinions, thoughts, mm-hmm. insights, mm-hmm. and aired out his personal feelings on any and everybody mm-hmm. within the world of comedy. Mm-hmm. Um, I checked before this interview. I think that that interview in its entirety, and the interview was over two hours and 45 minutes long. It, right. it's, it's not short. And it has topped 50 million views on YouTube. Mm-hmm. First and foremost, what is your thoughts on Cat speaking his mind because he said Kevin Hart is an industry plant. Mm-hmm. He accused Cedric the Entertainer of stealing his jokes. And the craziest thing about it, everybody who he mentioned came out with something to say. What, what is your thoughts on this whole thing? I mean, it's, it's, it's no different than me sitting here with you, right? And if I if if it's things that I've been preaching for the last 15 to 20 years and people have taken them like, oh, okay, oh, okay, ah, watch out. Uh, you're just hating. Uh, you're just mad you don't have the success they have. Uh, it's just your opinion. Uh, you're bitter. And then it comes to the point where I realize that the space we're in as a society today at this point in time, people are willing to sit down and really hear you out now, then I could definitely see how easy it was for him to say, you know what, I'm gonna take this two and a half hours to give y'all everything that I've been thinking and feeling for the last 15 to 20 years, maybe even 25 to 30 years. I mean, they all been around for a long time. Um, Cat is one of those guys like, you know, he's a professional reader. He'll read you in a heartbeat. You know, I, I remember, you know, <laughs> I probably shouldn't tell this story, but I was new to Twitter. And I'll never forget DMX had just come home. Rest in peace to DMX. And I saw the special with Cat Williams, Lunell, Red, and they had the German Shepherd. Remember Cat had the dog in the car with him? They did that too. Yep. Yep. Um, and I think Lunell just recently spoke about this on Vlad. And I remember watching that, and that shit was so funny. And I was just getting on Twitter. I I, I didn't want to do Twitter. I hated the name of it. It's called Twitter. Had a bird. I was like, what is what is it? You know, it was explained to Diddy one way. It was, like, dissected for, like, over an hour and a half of how it works. When it got to me, it was like a five to ten minute this is what it is, how it works. I ate a bagel for lunch. I was like, so I didn't see the, I didn't understand at the time, right? So once I seen Diddy take off with his Twitter and people was jumping on Twitter and I, and I was starting to understand, oh, this is, I wasn't explained, it wasn't explained to me this way. So I remember one day I was in St. Louis. i never forget it. Um, I'm in my, my suite. I'm actually in the penthouse. Uh, it's after my concert. And I just started making jokes. I said, man, y'all ain't gonna believe what just happened. I fabricated this whole story. I said, man, it's me, DMX, Cat Williams. We're in my hotel room. And I'm not saying Cat or DMX had cocaine, but it was a line of cocaine on the table and the dog hit the line of cocaine. The dog got high and attacked me. Y'all, I'm headed to get 20, sti- I, got, I had to get 20 stitches, right? So that shit went crazy. That was my introduction to Twitter. Like literally, it poof, took off. Now, I had seen Cat. I didn't really know Cat Williams. You know what I'm saying? I met DMX. I didn't really know DMX. And that was that was very irresponsible of me, you know, being a a lot more uh understanding of what I was doing now than at that moment when I just did a plan because I was like, I was gonna be like it was a joke. But it took off so fast, nobody reached out to me and said nothing. I never went back and addressed that it was all false, right? So I'm in Atlanta, 
I'm at uh, Legal Seafood, Boston Legal Seafood. And my homegirl, she's having this birthday party. She's got a, a, she's hosting about 10 beautiful women. I mean, all these women were gorgeous. And uh, I never forget walking in and I saw this security guard, these two security guards look at me. They looked at each other and I was like, y'all good? And they was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went upstairs. The security guard came up there and was like, yo, uh, Mr. Young Jock, I need you to step outside for a minute. And I'm like, for what? It was like, uh, Cat want to holler at you. I said, Cat? Cat who? Cat Williams. I said, Cat Williams want to holler at me? The Cat Williams? <laughs> I gave him a the, because I love Cat Williams. You know what I'm saying? I said, the Cat Williams? He's like, yeah, he, he want to holler at you outside. I'm like, all right, cool. Hell yeah, I'll be back. Y'all about to go holler at Cat right quick. You know what I'm saying? Y'all need anything, it's on me. Get, you, get, you, get what y'all want. Man, I walk outside, cat sitting outside, he goes, mm-hmm. I'm like, cat, what's up, my boy? He like, mm-hmm, what's up, motherfucker? <laughs> and, and at this time, it's just Cat Williams. I'm like, man, I'm, what's up, dog? Man, it's good to see you. I, I go to Dap, right? And hit him with the, the Dap, and the, you know, you come in with the, uh, and he locked on me. Uh. Now, let me ask you something. Have you ever seen me do cocaine? <laughs> so now I'm trying to get off on him so I can look him in his eye to be like, huh? But I, he's holding me. I'm like, no. Nah, I, I. He said, have you ever, have you ever, ever seen the DMX do any drugs? I said, no. He said, nigga, do you know my dog? I was like, no. And I'm trying to see like, because he's strong. He's holding me. I'm like, I'm like, hey, what's up? He's like, I don't appreciate what the fuck you did. I was like, Oh, man, Kat, you talking about the Twitter shit? Absolutely. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know what the fuck I'm talking about. So don't even sit here and play like you don't. And I was like, so it took me a second. I was like, oh, he mad at me for real. And I'm like, you, you good? He said, do I look like I'm good? You got the whole motherfucking nation thinking my dog. Fuck me. Fuck DMX. But my dog doing cocaine with you. I don't appreciate it, and I have a problem. I'm like, and at that moment, I was realized that, you know what? I never clarified that that was me bullshitting, just, and I wanted to tell him that. But let me tell you the type of dude Cat was at that moment. He said, now I'm gonna give you a choice. You can tell me you did, it's just because you didn't give a fuck, and I can leave knowing that you didn't give a fuck. He said, or oh, you could tell me you was just doing it because you wanted to go viral. I said, the latter, absolutely. He said, you just want to be viral? He said, okay, cool. That's all I want the motherfucking know. You good with me, nigga. Just don't do it again. And I was like, yeah, for <laughs> sure. I'm back, man, I love you, cat man, I'm sorry, man. He said, I, I don't want to hear that. What are you doing upstairs? I'm like, shit, we like eating, having some drinks and shit. Cause I still don't know where I'm at with him. Cause he kind of, <laughs> cat kind of got this gangster little undertone. And I'm like, what? And he got these big ass security. He said, well, let's go up and have some, some food and some drinks. So we go upstairs, so I come back to the table. He said, go ahead, I'm right behind you. So I'm like, damn, this shit crazy. Cat just checked me slick. But I'm glad he was cool. So I get to the table, like, ladies, uh, Cat Williams wanna know if y'all wanna more drinks or food. They're like, Cat Williams, what, 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 what? Yeah. Now I'm not gonna use the word kidnap, cause then the hell, it would be me messing up again. Cat said, look, I got the whole floor of the hotel. Come up, let's hang out, bring your drinks. <laughs> uh, so I got to look around for I just be like, hell yeah, I want to go. Cause I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a man. I want to be like, all right, let's go upstairs. So Cat say, come on. I say, you ladies, y'all good? They like, hell yeah, that's Cat. All right, boom, paper check, tick, ticket. We get upstairs. Cat got on, you know, the poo shiesty mask? Yep, yep. Cat had on a poo shiesty mask. Cat put on a, 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 a wife beater. He had on a white beat, took a shirt, had on a white beat, the push ice the mask, and that was coming out the bottom of it. Cat pulled out his iMac computer, set it up in the room. Cat sat there and played over 30 of the jamming his songs I ever heard. I'm like, nigga, you rap? Absolutely, this is what I really do. And I sat there and I realized at that moment, man, hey man, this guy is really underrated, man, because I'm like, just for him to handle the situation the way he handled it, I was like, damn, cat, I ain't with me, man. So it's funny that 
after that happened, we was cool. You know, he had this, this tour going or whatnot. We, we probably chilled with Cat for like two hours. Cat pulled back up on me at my salon. I'll never forget, unannounced. He pulls up in this Rolls Royce, hops out, comes in. We were doing like a uh, pop-up shop in my salon. Man, Cat William came in there and supported every vendor in that salon that day, unannounced. Nobody had to ask him nothing. He said, I want to know what y'all selling because I'm buying. Cat came in there and spent about three to about three to thirty-five hundred dollars, man. That's they cool. called me. I was like, Cat, man, I'm I'm out of town. He's like, it, it doesn't matter. I'm here to support. I love you. I see you in the wind. And he got them hopped in his car and rolled off into the sunset. Right down. <laughs> That's dope, man. That's a dope story. And and it's right in line with everything that he said and did. Yeah. And the reason he going viral. Real talk. Yeah, yeah. 